and then uh, uh, we have to initialize our uh, estimate uh, estimation that is zero for all we are starting from the flat start zero for all angles and one for uh, all magnitudes now let's start the first iteration at first we have to build the Jacobian matrix for the system <clears throat> you can see the Jacobian matrix here for the system uh, you have to remember one important thing the Jacobian matrix, the rows of the Jacobian matrix must be must be uh, compatible with the rows of the measurement matrix. That means this line, this line corresponds to this measurement. The next line will correspond to the next measurement. That's how you have to build the Jacobian matrix. And now where have I got this number 9.901? Okay, I have got this number from uh, the uh, equations, the standard equations I have shown in the previous videos. Uh, if you apply those equations, you will uh, get and the uh, measurement uh, 1.5 is this one, the first one. So this one will be for the first measurement. That means for this measurement. So if you calculate uh, the Jacobian element, uh, for this transmission line, uh, the differentiated value of the power flow, you will get this one. Now, uh, you have to uh, calculate z hat. Uh, z hat represents what should be the measurement. Here, z hat is zero uh, because in the beginning, B1 and B2, both of them, both buses have the same voltage. So there should not be any voltage, uh, should not be any power flow in this transmission line. The power flow should be zero, that's why it is showing zero. Now as you have Z hat and uh, the Jacobian matrix, you can calculate dx. dx is calculated from the equation um, H transpose H and then you invert it and then you multiply it with H transpose and then you multiply it with uh, dz. Uh, I think I have I've shown that equation clearly in the previous uh, slide. Now, if you ha when you have dx, you can add the dx with uh, with the previous previous state x, and you can get the new state x. So that's the end of the first iteration. For the second iteration, for the new x, you have to calculate the new Jacobian. And then you have to calculate uh, calculate z hat. Then you have to calculate uh, the updated dx, and you have to add this dx with this the previous x to get the new value. Okay. Uh, similarly, you can do iteration three, iteration four, and iteration five, and then at the end uh, you will get the values. You see the value of dx, it is it is decreasing over iterations. That means uh, the process is converging. If the process uh, did not converge, then the uh, value of dx uh, uh, would, would become higher and higher. I mean, we call it explosion of the system. Okay, so now we, you have very, uh, very small dx, so that means uh, your values are almost converged. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, I hope that you will enjoy this software and this software will uh, help you uh, uh, make better understanding of the um, of state estimation. Uh, it has some other features as well. I will uh, go through them later. Um, thanks everyone. And uh, if you have any queries, you can uh, send me an email. Thanks.